What can you do with some of the lakes and ponds around your house, close by, where you might fish quite a bit? What can you do to make the fishing better there, if it's legal? Good morning, guys and girls. February 23. February 23. Uh, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel with Jimmy Houston on YouTube. If you are not subscribed to this channel, go over there and subscribe to the channel right now. It will absolutely change your life for the better. You'll have a better life. If you've got a friend or two, uh, buy this book. Tell them to get on the channel and uh, you'll have better friends. <laughs> Their life will get better too. Okay, we're looking at Proverbs 12, 10 this morning. A righteous man regards the life of his animal. I love that one. I tell you, I've read that verse of scripture many, many, many times. And every time I think about our animals that we've had, you know, and some of them that have uh, gone on to be with the dog heaven and deer heaven and so forth. But uh, we've really, really, we've really, really taken this, this to heart right here. Here's what I wrote about that. My buddy Gary Yamamoto, who owned Yamamoto Lures, he sold that company. My buddy Gary Yamamoto always has a practice partner or two during practice for professional tournaments. It's common knowledge that I stopped fishing national tournaments. 2019 was the last year, so now I'm into 2021-22. Yeah, I'm in about this about my fourth year without fishing tournaments. Uh, fishing 54 years before that. I would like to got that 55th year in. Almost went back to BASS. They asked me to come back to BASS, but they had the same rule. Chris couldn't practice with me. I stopped fishing national tournaments due to rule changes that didn't allow my wife, Chris, to practice with me. How does Gary, how in the world does Gary get away with having a practice partner? Well, it isn't his wife, Beverly. <laughs> it's Gary's precious little dogs. Precious little dogs, rain or shine, they go fishing with Gary. They actually fish with him during the tournament days, too, not just practice, but during the tournament days. God was saying in today's verse, that consistently righteous people take care of their animals. A righteous man regards the life of his animal. That's what God's saying. Proverbs is full of attributes of righteous people. Full of attributes of righteous people. Full of them. Righteous folks help their neighbors. It's one thing they do. Righteous folks tell the truth. They don't lie. Righteous folks are honest. They're dependable. Righteous folks work hard. And more and more and more. So many attributes of righteous people. For God to include animals with such merited, merited characteristics shows just how much God regards the life that he, that he created. God regards the life of animals. It says in the Bible in another place that God knows when even a sparrow hits the ground and dies. Even a sparrow. I think most of us regard the lives of our animals about the same as members of our families. In fact, some of the members of our family, we might regard the lives of our animals a little bit more. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I do, though. I take uh, my animals very seriously, uh, no matter if they're a dog, or, uh, which is meant to be a pet, or some of the wild animals that we take care of. Hey, it's about time to feed the animals. <laughs> okay, here's our tip for today. If it's legal, here's the deal. Make sure you check, because it's not legal everywhere. Uh, if it's legal, build brush piles. That's right. Build brush piles on the ice for better fishing later on. That's right. You can build brush piles out on the ice. They do that a lot up north. Now, we're about to get down to the time of the year when that ice is starting to go away a little further south up north. But if for some of them up north, they still got quite a bit of ice. But you can actually build those brush piles out on the ice. Put your GPS coordinate on your phone or on your, or your, your locator on your boat. Put your GPS coordinate out there. And when the ice melts, those brush piles are going to sink down. You can drive them out there in the back of your pickup, build a big old... And I've seen that happen, so it is legal in a lot of places in the north. A lot of places, I'm sure that it's probably not. So, build brush piles on the ice. That's right. That was a little caveat that I just knew I was going to stop you a little bit on. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>